Aprobado na ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ang food stamp program pilot and full implementation nito na mag-uumpisa ngayong taon. Kasunod nito, inuto si Pangulong Marcos sa GSWD kaagapay ang Department of Health para pag-aralan at tingnan ang nutritional value ng mga pagkain na ipamamahagi sa mga beneficiaries na makikinabang sa programa. Maliban sa target na 1 million pamilyang Pilipino, pinatitiyak din ng Pangulo na mabibilang sa nasabing programa ang mga single parents, pregnant at lactating women para ma-address ang first 1,000 days advocacy na food stamp program kung saan nasa 3,000 pesos food allowance ang ibibigay sa mahihirap na pamilyang Pilipino kada buwan. The President approved the run of the pilot, which is fully funded through grants. Uh, grants from the ADB, uh, JICA, and the French Development Agency. So that will be 3 million US dollars all in all. Uh, there's a provision to expand it. ADB is still working on other trust funds so that we can expand the pilot. But other than that, it's a f all green lights go na for the pilot, which will take place shortly. Uh, from the pilot, we will see the nuances. What needs to be improved, what needs to be enhanced, what needs to be discontinued. It'll run for six months. Uh, we are doing the pilot so that we don't end up with wasteful spending. We want to make sure that when we do expand the program on its regular run, even if the president already approved it, we want to learn from the pilot and we want to start right. That was the takeaway. The talking to, um, uh, speaking with the economic team last Friday, the main takeaway was um, tighten the design. Uh, importante, we start the program right. And that is the takeaway. But second, Kanina, as mentioned by Daphne, The president also wants to bring in uh, pregnant lactating mothers because we have to start looking at stunting in this country. And the first 1,000 days program is very important. Uh, if you look at the family of programs in DSWD, and I'm sure si Secretary Ted will also explain in DOH, there are ongoing first 1,000 days programs already. But ang gusto ng ating Pangulo, isynchronize natin itong mga programa na to sa isang pamilya ng mga programa wherein hindi siya parang silo na isa-isa. Kung hindi, pagtapos sa program A, pupunta siya sa program B, pupunta siya sa program C. Alam natin yung uh, problema ng stunting is very important and very crucial na masugpo natin if we are to invest in human capital. Kaya nga, uh, mag-collaborate kami ni Secretary Herbosa dahil meron tayo, kung natandaan nyo, yung PMNP o in Philippine Multisectoral Nutrition Program. It's a program that was launched launch mga 60 days ago with the World Bank's backing. 70% of that pro program is with DOH in implementing food uh, nutrition-specific programs. Kami naman sa DSWD, nutrition-sensitive programs. Kasi alam naman natin na hindi lang pagkain ang tinitignan natin pagdating sa paglaban sa stunting, kundi yung overall well-being ng isang ina, pati na ninong kabataan. Kasama dyan yung wash facilities, kasama dyan yung... Uh, Uh, making sure na may enough uh, facilities for child development, katulad ng mga daycare center. So pag iigtingin natin yung programa na yan, para masynchronize naman natin siya dito sa upcoming natin na food stamps program. Uulitin namin, ang marching order ng Pangulo, dapat malabanan natin ang stunting at ang kagutuman, pagsani puwersa ng mga iba't ibang programa ng gobyerno para hindi sila piece by piece ang turing sa mga programa. Umaga sa inyong lahat at uh, thank you for uh, coming and hearing the program. It's my first cabinet meeting, so it's very interesting. Uh, of course, I didn't know the planning of this, but uh, hearing it, it actually jibes. No? Ka katulong talaga sa for the poorest one million, be able to give them food stamps so that they will have nutritious food. So that was the first question of the president. Uh, make sure that the food that is given is of nutritional value. So that's our role. So we have the National Nutrition Council, the FNRI, that can actually take care of studying this. The second question to Secretary Rex is, uh, hunger and being poor are very subjective ideas, and how do you measure them objectively? This president wants it measured objectively. So, uh, so I countered, sir, actually we've been working with DSWD. Health actually is the measure of stunting and malnutrition. So what happens in a, if there's a feeding program, for example, like the st food stamp program, we will locate through, the, through our partners and the LGU, locate who are the mildly malnourished, uh, moderately malnourished, and severely malnourished. And, the, and there are uh, medical parameters of who to say they are. But we use the, the weight, the height, the mid-upper arm circumference, or the MUAC. And what we'll do is make sure that we monitor that the food stamp program is changing the the people that are severely malnourished will after some time of this food stamp 
will become moderately mildly until they're no longer malnourished. And this is very important, I told the President. Uh, most of this feeding program isn't recovered, the, the effects of malnutrition and stunting, you don't recover it like a wound that heals. It's a permanent. That's why uh, if you want a human capital or mga tao, citizens na magtatrabaho, and they're intelligent, they will pass school, you really need to, to feed them well during their early life years. Kasi dun yung growth and development na kailangan nila. So I think we will be in full support. And I, I think my seatmate, Secretary Ben Hur, said, kami gagawa niyan. Sabi niya, kami gagawa niyan. Kasi the implementation of the food stamp is at the local chief executive. So nagtuhog-tuhog na. And we will all help each other with this uh, really good program for uh, food stamps and hunger. Uh, if I can just add again as an emphasis, uh, the new dimension that we bring to the table today is folding in the first 1,000 days into the program. Yes. Kung natandaan nyo, nun bumalik ka, pumunta ako dito nung unang beses, pinag-usapan natin labanan ng kagutuman. Pero ang gusto ng Pangulo natin is to add that dimension of stunting into the picture. Kasi irreversible yon. And ulitin ko, this is an investment to human capital. So if we are to invest in human capital, we have to fight stunting. Uh, yan yung co-collaborate namin, not just support, but work closely with the DOH, was the instruction of the President. Kasi nga, it's both a social welfare issue and a health issue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hanggang dito na lamang muna, ito po ang inyong lingkod, Zoe TV. Magandang araw po.